Hi guys, this is Andrew with rockclass101.com and this week's ukulele lesson is a really special one because it's our first lesson for low G ukulele and I couldn't think of a better way to launch this new series than to teach a song from my favorite ukulele artist, Taimane. And real quick, if you're watching this video at the end of October or throughout all of November 2018, then you have a chance to win this signed Islander concert size ukulele, as well as a signed CD of her latest release, which is Elemental. So to find out how to do that, plus, this is really cool, you can win a 30 minute Skype lesson, a one-on-one -on -one lesson with Taimane. So go ahead and click that link right there to check out the video with her and you can find out all the details on how to enter to win those three sweet prizes. I'm gonna be really jealous of whoever wins that Skype lesson. Like, that is so cool. And I also wanna give a big shout out to Evan and Katie for a tremendous job on the performance. It was just absolutely beautiful. So just amazing job to both of them. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the lesson. So the lesson is gonna be taught in its entirety for free, but what I've done is I've split it into two parts. So this YouTube video, we're gonna learn the first half of the tune. And if you wanna learn the second half, it's gonna be taught for free go ahead and click this link or go to the site rockclass101.com and do a search for moon. So at this site, what you'll have to do is sign up for basic membership. It's 100% free, but it's gonna gain you access to the part two lesson plus the tablature. So you can print off the tabs and follow along as a PDF format, 100% free if you sign up for basic membership. And also on that page is one additional asset that will be available for premium members, this is the on-screen tab viewer. Now this is an interactive tab player where you can watch the tab scroll across in real time. You can highlight bars to loop sections, slow it down to any speed you wish. Just a really great asset and learning this song that much easier. So if you're new to rockclass101.com, go ahead and take a look around. We have over 250 lessons. And if you wanna try out the tab player, then after you log in, click free lessons in the menu above and you'll see four lessons at the top of the page. One of them is for Elise, and you can try out that on-screen tab viewer 100% for free. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump into learning this song. All right, so before we jump into learning this tune, there's a few things that we have to make sure we understand. First thing, this song is in six, eight, so we're gonna be counting one, two, three, four, five, six, next measure, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so forth. Now the thing with 6-8 is that when we see a rhythm, and let me go ahead and put the first bar up here, and when we look at this first bar, we can see that we have three eighth notes. We have a set of three eighth notes followed by another set of three eighth notes. But here's the thing, we're actually going to count the rhythm as if it was twice the value. So anytime we see an eighth note, we're gonna count it and consider it as if it was a quarter note. And that would continue through. So anytime you see a 16th note, you would count it and consider it as if it was a eighth note. So in essence, you're essentially just doubling the rhythm. So if I was to count this first bar, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm considering it as if it was quarter notes. So the second thing that we wanna cover is our right hand approach for picking. And predominantly this entire tune uses a four finger approach, whereas the thumb would get string four, index would get string three, middle gets string two, and ring gets string one. So if you're new to understanding a four finger approach for finger picking, then check out our finger picking concepts. It's a complete course that covers a three finger approach, a four finger approach, and using just the thumb. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into learning this intro. So as we've already noticed, we're basically playing just quarter notes and we're picking out of two chords. Our first chord is gonna be an E minor. So it sounds like this. Okay, so this chord right here, it's basically, you can see that stock E minor chord, right? That staircase shape. We're just gonna add a bass note to it as well. So to finger this, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're going to use the ring finger on the fourth fret of string four, 
pinky underneath it, so that's a fourth fret of string three, middle fingers on the third fret of string two, and index is on the second fret of string one. So this is gonna be the chord that we pick out of for the first couple bars, and you can see the picking pattern very, very simple. We're just going string four, three, two, one, two, three. So it goes down and walks straight back up. But we wanna keep in mind that rhythm. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's see if we can go through that two times because that's our first two bars. So here we go, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Now you can see for the next bar, we want to B minor. So the way we want to transition is we want to keep the ring finger planted. So keep that finger down. These other three fingers, pinky, middle, index, they're going to come up and your index is going to lay flat. It's going to be a partial bar chord. Okay. So it's really important that we have proper form for our left hand. And it's not only form in the front, but it's also in the back with this U-shaped gap where our thumb is placed in the back of the neck. So if you're new to making partial bar chords or full bar chords, and specifically focusing on form, getting proper form, getting the right amount of finger strength to make every note ring out, then I'm gonna put a link in the description box below to a lesson on proper left hand form. So it's gonna cover that in detail. So again, we can look at this transition. So we keep the ring planted and the index is gonna come up and do a partial bar from the third string down all on the second fret. So you have four, two, two, two. And that's gonna give us our B minor. And we have the same picking pattern for this third bar. Four, three, two, one, two, three, four. You can see the fourth bar, we're gonna sustain it for the entire measure. Now that little squiggly line on the tab, that means a little bit of vibrato. So Evan likes to put a lot of vibrato into his playing for when we have sustained single note, which just adds a little character to the note. So if you're new to vibrato, we actually put out about maybe six months ago, a very detailed lesson on how to do vibrato. There's different types. You can do subtle, which I think would be perfect for this tune, or you can do big vibratos, but I'll put a link in the description box below for the lesson covering vibrato technique. So that third and fourth bar we have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that last note, you're just sustaining the entire fourth bar. So let's see if we can try third and fourth bar together out of the B minor chord. Here we go. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So for me, I don't add vibrato because I kind of like that flatness of the note. But now we've got the first four bars for this intro. So let's see if we can try that together. Uh, I'm gonna play one time throughout and you can just get a feel of it. Sounds like this and then we'll do it together. Okay, so let's give it a shot together. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Awesome, and if I go any bit too fast, you can use this little directions to slow the YouTube player down. Now, if we look at the next three bars, we're going into our main picking pattern that is basically the bass picking pattern used throughout this tune. And it's actually used entirely throughout theme number one. Now, if you look at bar number five and you look at bar number nine, I'm gonna put it up on the screen right here. You can see that there's only one note difference. So our main picking pattern is gonna be what you see in bar nine and throughout theme number one but I left one note out, the end of four, for these next three bars, just to give it a little bit of a more subtle sound, so a little less before we dive into theme one, which has it's just one extra note, but that one extra note really makes it sound a little bit busier and a little bit more full sound. So we're gonna learn the basic picking pattern right now, but if you want to have a cool little variation, you can subtract one note. So let's take a look at our bass picking pattern. 
sounds like this. So let's break down our picking pattern for the right hand. So I'm gonna call out strings. Let's do the first half of the bar. So we have four, three, two, four, three. Okay, so again, we have four, three, two, four, three. And that's gonna be one, two, and three end. Now our second half is gonna start with a pluck of string one and two, follow it up by playing string four, string two, string four, and then string three. So you have pluck four, two, four, three. And the rhythm is going to be four and five and six. Okay, so again, it's four and five and six. So again, pluck four, two, four, three. Now this is a bass picking pattern, right? So if we put that together, we have four, three, two, four, three, pluck four, two, four, three. And count out the rhythm, you have one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Okay? Now if you contrast that with bar five, remember we're leaving one note out. We're leaving the end of four out. So you, if you wanna play the variation right here, you're going to play four, three, two, four, three, pluck, two, four, three. So you notice that that pluck lasts longer. That's the variation right there. So again, it's four, three, two, four, three, pluck, two, four, three. So again, Evan doesn't play this. He plays the main picking pattern that we just learned with the extra note added. But if you want to have a cool little variation where it kind of builds up to the theme, then I would suggest playing what you see on the tablature. But I'll leave it up to you on which one you want to do. But now that we've got it down, let's go ahead and play through these bar five and six because it's the same picking pattern. So we're leaving the one note out and here we go. Four, five, go. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. Awesome. And then we'll go to B minor. We'll do the same thing. Four, five, go. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One. And that last hit, you can see, carries through the remainder of the eighth bar. So let's see if we can try the second half together. Here we go. Four five, go. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, done. Awesome. Now let's see if we can backtrack. Let's try the entire intro, all eight bars. Four, five, six. One, two, three, 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 four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, done. Awesome, and now this will take us into theme one. So the intro was only eight bars in length. Theme one and the rest of the themes, there's actually six themes, they're all gonna be 16 bars in length. So let's kick into theme number one. And here's the good thing, again, theme one carries through with that main picking pattern, so it adds that one extra note on the end of four. So the right hand picking pattern is the same throughout every chord that we're gonna play in theme one. So if we look at the first four bars, we can see that, again, we're going to go E minor to B minor. So it's the same thing we just did, but we're adding that one extra note. So it sounds like this. And you can see a repeat, repeat sign, so we're actually gonna double that. So that gives us the first eight bars. So let's see if we can try it, you and I together. We're adding that one extra note on the end of four, but let's see if we can go through it one time, so just four bars, and here we go. Four, five, six, one, two, and three, 
and 4 and 5 and 6 1 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 1 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so very, very simple since we already have it down. And if you're struggling a little bit with a picking pattern, just hit pause and just get the muscle memory down going four, three, two, four, three, pluck, four, two, four, three. Just get that pattern down with the right hand, four finger picking approach uh, before you try and tackle this theme number one. So let's go ahead and look at the next part. So the second half of theme number one, it's gonna kick into A minor. And A minor, car again, carries on with that same picking pattern. So we're making the stock A minor. I like to use the middle finger. Evan likes to use the index, up to you which one you wanna use. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the middle finger for this. So this one sounds like. So picking straight out of the A minor, we're gonna do that two times in a row. So we have one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. So let's give that one a shot. Here we go. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Okay, from here we're going into a B7. It's gonna look like that E minor, but you're literally going to move every finger directly up one string. So you've got four, three, two, and the open A. And again, as you guessed, we have the same picking pattern two times in a row. So let's see if we can try that one together two times in a row. Four, five, six, one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. All right, so now let's see if we can backtrack and try those four bars together. So two A minor to two B7. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. So you see as I transitioned, I added one finger at a time and then put the other two down. So it makes it easier. Right? So it makes it easier to transition if I just go one at a time. So I'm basically adding one as I need it. So I'm adding the ring first, then the middle, and then the index. So check that out. So you don't have to go boop all of them at the same time just because it's not needed to grasp it in time. So let's take a look at the next four bars. So first off, you can already see we're basically going from E minor, so that same E minor chord back to B7. So pretty easy transition. So when you're going from E minor to B7, you're gonna lift that pinky up and keep the ring planted and move the other two fingers up one string, so directly up. That's gonna be the easy way to transition from E minor to B7. So these last four bars, same picking pattern. And that last note sustains for the last bar. So let's see if we can try all four of those together. Four, five, go. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. And now let's see if we can try that last eight bars together. So the second half of theme number one, starting from A minor. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and Four and five and six. One, two and three and four and five and six. One, two and three and four and five and six. One, two and three and four and five and six. One, two and three and four and five and six. One, two and three and four and five and six. One. Okay, so not too hard. Really simple because it's got all the same picking patterns. So really, essentially, 
get the picking pattern memorized, get muscle memory down for the right hand, and then just memorize the chord uh, progression. Plus, I think the biggest focus will be on transitioning from one chord to the next. So that probably will be the trickiest part with what's happening right here. And so far, if we think about the dynamics of this piece that we've played, we've covered the intro and theme one, it starts really subtle. So our playing shouldn't have any kind of real big heavy attack, you shouldn't be plucking super hard, real nice and subtle, kind of like we uh, demonstrated going throughout it so far. So if we look at theme number two, this is where we kind of start to build a little bit more with a little oomph, more oomph in our playing. So we can start to kind of dig into it a little bit more and play with a little bit more brightness in our attack. And it's gonna kind of help to develop how this song flows. So let me go ahead and just demonstrate these first four bars and then we'll break it down and learn it. So that's the basic gist of what it sounds like. So again, we kind of just want to build this section up, so play a little bit harder. And it's going to start out of that E minor, so same E minor chord that we've been playing out of. The difference here, though, is the attack of this first note. And you can see that it's going to be a hammer-on. And if you look at the entire bar, this first and second bar, they're actually identical. But if you look at this first bar right here, you can see that we're not even playing the first string, so we don't even need to use the index on the first string. So in essence, you can leave it floating because we're going to use it for the second fret on string two. So for the first part, what we're going to do is we're going to keep third and fourth finger down, and we're going to hammer on to the third fret of string two with the middle finger. Okay, so you can do like a little strum, or you can pluck it up to you. And if you look at the rhythm too, you can see that everything's an eighth note to up until the last hit, which is a quarter note. One and two and three and four and five and six. It's a very easy rhythm. But let's go ahead and practice this little hammer on. So we've got these two anchored down. We're gonna hammer with the middle finger, O to three. Okay, so we have hammer, strum, hammer, or pluck hammer. After that, you're gonna play string four then pluck three and two together, and then back to string four, and then back to string three. Now you can keep with the same four finger picking, well, these four fingers, same four finger picking approach, uh, but if you break out of it, you can go into a three finger approach where thumb would get string four and three, index gets string two, middle gets string one. So you can use these three fingers, or you can even use these three fingers. So if you want to break into a three finger picking approach for this part, that's fine as well. I'll leave it up to what your playing style best dictates. And again, if you're new to three finger approach versus four finger approach, then check out that lesson that I linked earlier, which is also in the description box below, which is a complete course covering both approaches. All right, so let's go back to this. We have a hammer, four pluck, four, three, that's the first half. So we have hammer, four, pluck, four, three. So all eighths for this first part. Let's give it a shot. Four, five, six. Hammer, four, pluck, four, three. Okay, now our second half, we're going to start with the second string, then back to fourth, then put the index on the second fret of string two. So you gotta lift the middle finger up, play the second string, back to the fourth string, and then the open E. And that open E lasts a quarter note. So you have two, four, two, four, open E. So a nice little walk down. Okay, so let's see if we can try that. One, two, three, four and five and six. And we put it together, the entire bar, we have four and five and six and hammer, four, pluck, four, three, two, four, two, four, open. Okay, let's do it again a little slower. Four and five and six and hammer, two and three and four and five and six. All right, 
and the good thing is that the next bar is identical, so we're going to skip over that. Let's take a look at the third bar. It's going to be out of A minor. So for this, Evan likes to use the index and hammer on with the ring finger. I'm always into doing the middle and the pinky for anything with A minor, so I'll leave it up to you on which one, which fingering you want to use. But it's basically the same thing. If you look at that contrast to the last bar, it's the same picking pattern and the same movement. So nothing else is happening other than we switch chords. We have hammer, four, pluck, four, three, two, four, two, four, open E. So it's the exact same movement, just out of a different chord. So let's see if we can try that A minor together. Four and five and six and hammer four block four three two four two four open awesome now if you look at the last bar this fourth bar it's going to be plucking four and three together so the top half of the a minor and then you're going to move your hand up and you're going to hit the harmonic on the 12th fret from the third string down and the trick with harmonics, again, is just to lightly touch the strings as if you were muting. Right? So you don't want to push pressure down. You want to lightly touch over the second metal bar of the 12th fret. And you're going to strum down with the thumb or with the nail of the middle finger. And then lift up. And it's going to create that nice little harmonic. So that is going to be on the fourth hit. So if you look at the last bar, we have a hit on one, two, three, four, five, six. So the first hit lasts the first half, the second hit, the harmonic lasts the second half of the bar. So that is going to be ending number one. So that fourth bar will be ending number one. So for this section, you're gonna go back after that and you're gonna play those same first three bars, E minor, E minor, A minor, and then you're gonna to jump to ending number two. So that is bar 25 on the tab. And that ending number two starts the same. It's gonna pluck four and three together, but then you have this cool little walk up on four, five, six. So you're gonna strum that A minor to string two, then play the second fret of string two, and then the third fret of string two. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and again, you can use the fingering like he does, or the one that I like to do. So let's try that ending number two. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Awesome. And let's go ahead and just recap the first uh, four bars. So we're gonna play E minor, E minor, A minor, and let's do ending number two. And this will give us the basic gist of the first half of theme two. Here we go. Four, five, six, one and two and three and four and five and six. One and two and three and four and five and six. One and two and three and four and five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Now we're into our second half of theme number two, and it's gonna kick off with this G minor with an added 11, which is a C note. So this chord right here, we're going to be fingering it with two fingers. So for this one, we're going to use our middle finger on the second fret of string two, and the ring finger underneath it. Okay, so for this, we have two open strings, four and three, and then second, second fret. So let me go ahead and play the second half. And this second half of theme two is gonna be the most syncopated rhythm work that we've seen thus far, so it switches up the rhythms quite a bit. Let me play just the first couple bars and then we'll break it down and learn it. Sounds like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and tackle that. On the first half we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one, two, three, followed by four and five, six. So we have on beat four end, we have an eighth note. So it's pretty much all quarters with an eighth stuck in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and make this chord and we're gonna use just the middle finger down for right now. So you're gonna go ahead and strum four to two and then play string three and then string two. 
Now through all this, you can still keep up with that four finger picking approach, but if you wanna break into the three finger approach, that's totally cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and strum four to two, hit string three after, and then string two. And from here, we're going to hammer on with the ring finger, open to second on the first string. So we can strum all four strings, and we're gonna do that hammer on. So there's that eighth, four end, then come back up, play string two and string three. So you have strum, two, three, four, and five, six. So that's our rhythm. If I call out the strings, it's easier to follow with. I have strum, three, two, hammer, two, three. Okay, let's give that one a shot. Four, five, six. Strum, two, three, hammer, five, six. So that's the first part. Now the next part gets a little tricky, still out of this chord, and it sounds like this. So our rhythm, if you take a look at the bar, we have one, two, and three end. That's the first half. So we have one, two, and three end. So let's just break that one down. So again, we're starting with just the middle finger down. So we have open four, followed by open three, and then second string, back to four, back to three. So I have one, two, and three end. So again, open, O, two, O, O. Okay? Now our second half is going to be... Now look at the one in the middle, that third fret. It's got a little dot underneath the notation or above the tab. That's a staccato dot. So it's gonna be a quick little short hit like bop. So we don't wanna sustain that note. So check it out. Da -da -ba -ba. So you can hear the other notes sustain except for that one. It's a quick, short little hit. So with staccato, we just play the note, lift pressure up as if we were muting it, and it cuts that note short. So for this one, we're going to play two, four, then use the ring for the third fret of string two. That's gonna be our staccato hit. And then pluck it again and slide three to the fifth fret. So you have two, four, two, slide. That rhythm is four and five, six. Okay. So for this one, we have four and five, six end. Okay, so a little tricky because we have a lot of syncopation going on. So here we go again, the second half, four and five, six. Let's try you and I. One, two, three, four and five, six. And if we backtrack the entire bar slowly, four and five and six and one, two and three and four and five, six. Okay, now let's go ahead and try the first couple bars. Here we go. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six. Awesome. Let's take a look at the next two bars. We're out of C5, and this is what it sounds like. Okay, so this one's not too hard. So for C5, we're gonna use that middle finger. We're gonna put it on that third fret string two. So again, we have an attack where it's gonna be strumming four to two, or you could pluck it. But the main thing is we have the melody note on string two. So after we hit that first chord, we're gonna follow it up with a series of eighth notes for the first half of this bar. So we have two and three end. So that's gonna be string three, two, four, three. So you have strum, three, two, four, three. So the rhythm is one, two, and three, end. So again, we have strum, three, two, four, three. After that, you're gonna take that ring finger, put it down on the third fret of string one. You're gonna pluck one and two together. That's gonna to be for beat four. And you can see in the middle, you have an eighth note hit. So you have five and and then again a quarter for beat six, which is the open C. So you've got pluck, two, four, three. And that rhythm is four, five, and six. 
okay? So we put that together, guys. We have strum, three, two, four, three, pluck, two, four, three. Okay, let's give it a shot. Four, five, six. Strum, three, two, four, three, pluck, two, four, three. Okay, now our next bar carries out of C5 again, but we have a little melody run at the end. It sounds like this. Okay, so let's break down what's happening. It starts with the same rhythm, one, two, and three end. So this time around, we're just starting with the open G, then following it up with three, two, four, three, same hits. So we have four, three, two, four, three, Follow that up with three and two plucked together, followed by the fourth string. And then we have second fret with the index finger. And then we're gonna hammer on second to third. And that's all on the second string. So you have pluck four, two, hammer. That rhythm is gonna be four and five, six and. Okay, so again, we pluck three and two. Open four, second fret, hammer on two to three. Okay, so let's see if we can try the second half together because that's the one that's kind of a bit different. One and two and three and four and five, six. Okay, and that entire bar, four and five and six and one, two and three and four and five, six. Okay, now let's backtrack. Let's try both bars for C5. Four and five and six and one, two and three and four, five and six, one, two and three and four and five, six. All right, and now let's try all four bars starting on that G major seven with the added 11. So let's see if we can boost the tempo up just a little bit. Four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, one, two, and three, and four, and five, six. Nice. Now let's take a look at our next bar, which is B7, and this will be the last four bars for theme number two. And I'm gonna go ahead and play it so we can hear what it resolves to, and then we'll break it down and learn it. Okay, so that gives us an idea of what we're getting into. So let's start with the first couple, so out of B7. So the first bar sounds like this again. So we have one, two, and three, and four, five, six. So not too hard, back to more simple rhythm. So I'm gonna strum four to two for this first hit. And then I'm gonna pluck three, two, four, three. So that gives me the first half. So I've got strum three, two, four, three. After that, I'm gonna strum all four, or in the tab you can see it hits three down, doesn't really matter, as long as you highlight that A as the melody and then you walk up. So together you've got strum, two, three. And it's back to that quarter note rhythm, so you have four, five, six. So if we put that bar together, we've got strum, three, two, four, three, strum, two, three. Let's give it a shot. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. Okay, now our next bar, which is top of page three, it's going to start pretty much the same, but as we saw last time, it's gonna start with just the bass by itself. So you're gonna hit that fourth string by itself. And then we're into the same little picking where it's three, two, four, three. So same rhythm, one, two, and three, and. So we've got. Okay. So that's pretty easy. The second half, we have the little melody, and you can see again, we have that staccato hit in the same spot. So the second half sounds like this. So we have da da ba ba. So that's gonna be 
playing string two, and then four. Then you're gonna drop that middle finger down, play that third fret with the staccato, and again, slide three to five to finish it up. So you have four and five, six. Okay, so a little tricky to get that down and try to make it clean. So we don't want any of these notes to ring out when we lift up from this B7 chord. If I put this bar together, it gives us a good context of how it sounds. So I can use the palm of my right hand to touch some of the strings when I move down to grab that staccato hit, just to make sure my playing is nice and clean so I can touch string four and three. So if we put this bar together, we have one, two, and three, and four, and five, six. You can note that I'm touching with the palm of my hand string four and three, just to mute it so it's nice and clean. Let's try this bar together. Four and five and six and one, two and three and four and five, six. Awesome. And if we backtrack, let's try both bars for B7. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six. Sweet. Now we're into the last couple bars, C5 to B7. C5 is easy because it's all quarters. So we're back to making C5 with middle finger. We're gonna go strum four to two, then string three, string two, then strum all four strings, and then string two and string three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's important to note that beat four has an open A as the melody note. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's give that a shot. Four, five, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're back to B7, and it sounds like this. So very simple. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. So you're starting with just the bass, then three, two, four, three, pluck. You can pluck all three from the bottom down or just string one and two and hold that for the remainder. So you have one, two, and three, and four, five, six. So let's try it. Four, five, go. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. And let's try those last two bars together. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, done. And now let's backtrack for the last four bars, starting on B7. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, done. And now let's backtrack the last eight bars, starting on G major seven at 11, and we'll boost up the tempo a little bit. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, six. One, two, three, four, and five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five. Done. Really, really cool part. So, big takeaway of theme two is the first eight bars. We kind of talked about building it and playing it with more oomph. But the second half kind of goes back to kind of more of a mellow feel, in my opinion. But again, the interpretation of the music is always up to the performer, which is you. So feel free to take it and make it your own, add dynamics how you wish, and just play it how you feel the music is. Um, as you notice on the tab, it says rearranged by Evan, so he put his own uh, personality into the performance. He didn't play it note for note like Taimane. When I play his arrangement, I don't play it exactly note for note like him. I notate it as close as possible. It's probably about 95 or so, maybe 93% what he plays. 
but we all are different players and that's what makes music fun. Everyone has a different interpretation of the piece. So don't feel like you have to copy note for note identical. All right, let's go ahead and move on to theme number three now. And theme three, the first half is very easy. It's back to that bass picking pattern. So that same picking pattern used all in theme one. So we just have to learn two chords and apply that same picking pattern to it. So we're starting off with a higher E minor. So we're gonna take the ring, put it on the ninth fret of string four, lay the index flat on seven for string one, two, and three. And it sounds like this first two bars, same picking pattern as theme one, the bass picking pattern. So everything's identical. So you have four, three, two, four, three, plug four, two, four, three. So same picking pattern. Okay, so let's try that two times in a row. So get the chord form. Here we go. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Our next chord is a tricky transition. It's gonna be a B minor, and we're using all four fingers. So index is fourth fret of string four, ring goes on sixth fret of string three, pinky is seven on string two, middle is five on string one. And as you guessed, same picking pattern for bar three, and bar four, as you see, is just the fourth by itself. So let's try this one. Here we go. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, done. And as you see a little vibrato on that tab, you can add it as well. Uh, Evan does that. I like to leave it flat though. So the big takeaway here is the transition, going from this E minor to the B7. So you just wanna practice one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, so you're just looping back and forth and that'll give you a good way to get the muscle memory down for that. And when I play it up to speed, you can see that I'm adding one finger at a time. So you can also use that to your advantage. One, two, and three, and four. So you can see ba, 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 ba. So you don't have to go all four at the same time. So let's see if we can try those four bars together. Remember, they're going to get repeated twice, so it's eight bars, but let's just try four. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we're into the last part that we're going to be covering in this part one lesson. So that is going to be kicking off with A minor. And here, again, we can put more oomph into our playing. So I think the first half that we just covered can be a little bit more mellow, but the second half, we can have more emphasis in our playing, kind of build the dynamic a bit. So let me play the first couple bars out of A minor, then we'll break it down and learn it. So this is what it sounds like. So really cool, and has a neat little walk down uh, of the melody on string one. All right, so let's go ahead and break down that first bar, and the rhythm is very simple. It's one, two, and three, and four, five and six end. So we have a quarter hit on one and four, the rest are eighth notes. So we're gonna make the A minor, and again, I like to use the middle finger and the pinky, but Evan uses the index and the ring finger, so I'll leave it up to you which one you wanna do. But this bar is going to sound like this. Okay, so let's break that one down. And this section is where I would really start to build it up a little bit too. So the first half that we covered, that E minor to B minor, we can play a little bit more subtle, but for this one, we can start to build it up, especially as we get to the F. I think the next, the third and the fourth bar is really where we're gonna build it up for the F chord. And then it's gonna die back down to more mellow when we get to ending two, which is that G7. But let's just tackle this first bar. So go ahead and make the A minor with the pinky on that third fret of string one. And we're going to strum the first hit and then play four, two, four, three. So we have one, two, and three, and. 
And we're gonna follow that up with plucking one and two, and that's gonna last for a quarter, and then the same picking pattern, four, two, four, three. So together you have one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and. Okay, so let's try that, you and I. Four, five, six, one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and. Okay, after this, we have that cool little walk down, sounds like. Okay, so rhythm again, pretty simple. Quarter hit on one and six, so we have one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. So that would be one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. So we're gonna start it off with a strum, and then we're gonna follow it up with four, pluck one and two, and then four and string three. So we've got strum, four, pluck, four, three. So one, two, and three, end. So here we go, strum, four, pluck, four, three. All right, let's try you and I, just the first half. Four, five, six, one, two, and three, end. Now the second half is going to be plucking. You can look at the melody. It's gonna go three, two, oh. So that falls on beats four, five, and six. But you're gonna be plucking one and two together. So it gives it a fuller sound for this second bar. So we're gonna go pluck one and two, then string four, then use the ring finger for the second fret, pluck one and two, again back to string four, and then lift up and one and two open. So you have four and five and six. Okay, let's try the second half. One, two, three. Four and five and six. And if we put that bar together, we have four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Awesome. Now let's try the first two bars together. Four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four. Five, and six, and one. Two, and three, and four, and five, and six. Nice. And this time you can, you really want to try and build the dynamic a little bit too. Right, so maybe I can start a little softer and kind of gradually boost it up. Not a ton, but a little bit more emphasis, just to kind of make it build up a bit more. We can even hit a bit even harder on the F chord. So let me go ahead and play the F section and then we'll break it down and learn it. So that's the third bar. So let's just tackle that one. So it's the basic F shape with the pinky added to the third fret of string one. Okay, a little tricky in the beginning because we have to hammer on, but look at the first half of the bar, all eighth notes. So we're gonna start with the pinky up and we're gonna hammer on. And then follow that with the third string, pluck one and two, and then four, three. So all eighths, so we have one and two and three and. Okay, and if I call out the hits, I have hammer, three, pluck, four, three. So let's try that first half, four. Five, six, hammer, three, pluck, four, three. Now the second half is gonna go four, five, and six. So you're gonna pluck one and two together, and then string three, back to pluck, and then string four. But the rhythm is the key here. So we have four, five, and six. Okay, so we have pluck, three, pluck, four. All right, let's try the second half. One, two, three. Pluck, three, pluck, four. And the entire bar, four, five, go. One and two and three and four, five and six. And let's do it a little bit slower. Four, five, six. One and two and three and four, five and six. Okay, here's the second bar for F. This is ending one. So once we get done with ending one, you're gonna go back, just like we saw before, play the first three bars, A minor, A minor, F, then go to G7 for ending two. So here's what this fourth bar for the F sounds like. Okay, in this one, I played light, but you kinda of wanna play it a little bit louder. It's kind of building the dynamic for this section. So for here, we're gonna start with the pinky down, and we're going to go strum, three, pluck, four. 
Okay, so we have one, two, and three. So let's give that one a shot. Four, five, six, strum, three, pluck, four. And then from here, we're just gonna extend the pinky. So reach to the fifth fret. It's a little tricky. And if you're new to playing stretch chords or stretch phrases, I'm gonna put a lesson in the description box below, which is all about increasing left hand reach so you can get comfortable with these stretch chords or playing stretch phrases. And the lesson will have three exercises that help you accomplish that. All right, so back into this. So we've got the basic F and a stretch to the fifth fret on string one with the pinky. The same attack, same rhythm, everything. So we have strum, three, pluck, four. So four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. Let's give that a shot. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. And if we try the entire bar together, we have four, five, six. One, two, and three. Four, five, and six. Okay, so this F chord section, these last two bars, really just about building it up a little bit. So just putting a lot of feeling and emotion into this part. So you want to play a little bit more emphasis because after you repeat that, you're going back to the same A minor, A minor, F, then to the G7. The G7, we kind of just want to go back into a more mellow going into theme four. But let's try these last two bars for F. Here we go. Four, five, six, one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Okay, and let's try one through four, and then we'll tackle the last bar. Four, five, six, one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, one, and two. Nice. So again, repeat the first three and then you're into G7. G7 is that stock basic G7. And this bar is gonna sound like. Okay, that rhythm is one, two, and three, and four, five, and six. So it follows similar rhythms that we've played before. So go ahead and make the G7 and we're gonna start with a strum and then we're going to play three, two, four, three. So we have strum, three, two, four, three. So that's our first half. One, two, and three, end. So let's give that a shot. Four, five, six, strum, three, two, four, three. Our second half is gonna be plucking one and two, then string four, string two, back to four. So you have four, five, and six. So you've got quarter hits on four and six. So let's try the second half. One, two, three, pluck, four, two, four. And that entire bar together, four, five, six. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six. Awesome, and that one again, just wanna not repeat too much, but that one is, we wanna play a little bit more mellow to get us back to a softer vibe, and that's what we're gonna hear in theme four. And theme four is where, we're, where we are going to pick up in the part two lesson, which is free. So guys, all you have to do is click this link right here to check out the entire lesson page on rockclass101.com. So that is where you got the taps from, and you also see that on that page will be a separate video for the part two lesson, which you can watch 100% for free with basic membership. If you haven't signed up for basic membership and you followed this lesson with the video by itself, that's amazing, but I would hope that you did uh, sign up and you did print out the tabs and you followed along. And we're gonna pick up where we left off with theme four in the part two lesson. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. It's been a lot of fun. Don't forget that the other assets, the assets for premium membership, that on-screen tab viewer, and I'll put it, I think one or over here somewhere, that on-screen tab here allows you to literally hit play, watch Evan's performance in real time. You can highlight bars, loop sections, slow it down to any speed. It's so useful and makes learning this song so much easier. 
So that is available with premium membership. If you're new to rockclass101.com, please log in and check out free lessons and you can test drive the uh, on-screen tab viewer for free. There's four really cool uh, songs that you can play along with. Uh, one of them is for release and there's three others that are really cool. All right, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this. Big thanks to Taimane for letting us teach one of her compositions. And again, a big thanks to Evan and Katie for a phenomenal job. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I will see you in the part two one. Take care.